Hi, I'm Doug Kirkle, CEO of the American Foundry Society. Thank you for joining us for this virtual award ceremony. For many decades, AFS has presented a variety of awards to recognize excellence in metal casting, research, innovation, and service to our organization and to our industry. In a normal year, these awards would be presented in person. However, due to the pandemic, this year we have to do it in an alternate way. And so for all of the committee and division awards, they will be presented in the coming weeks uh, virtually on committee and division meetings. A number of the national awards will be presented in person in September in Scottsdale, Arizona at the Foundry Leadership Summit. And for seven other national awards, they are being presented here in this series of videos. As you listen to the videos, you'll notice the genuine appreciation of each of the persons for their association with AFS and for the recognition that they're receiving. All of the videos have been edited if needed to keep them to two minutes or less. And AFS thanks everyone who has been involved in this process and we congratulate all of the award winners. And now on with the awards. Thank you AFS for recognizing me as a 2021 National Service Citation recipient. What an honor. I am humbled that you deem me worthy of joining a list with previous recipients I consider icons of industry. I must say it takes a special recognition for me to willingly part with the flame retardant in exchange for a suit and tie. The AFS has helped me in so many ways, including the networking opportunity it provides the education initiative it supports, the R&D and service infrastructure creates, and the personal growth it allows. Service to the AFS is a privilege. There are too many people for which I am indebted to mention them all. However, I would like to thank a few. First, I would like to thank my previous employers, my current employer, Fasico, and all my colleagues, past and present, who encouraged me to both participate in and advocate for the AFS. I would also like to thank both the Cleveland Akron Canton chapter of the AFS and the Technical Council, where meetings are gatherings of friends that turn crazy ideas into realizable ambitions. Additionally, I'd like to thank the Aluminum and Light Metals Committee for spearheading my nomination and for the 21 years of the best teamwork and kinship I could imagine. I am eternally attempting to fulfill debts owed to the special group of collaborators. Please let me congratulate my fellow AFS National Award recipients on their exceptional contributions and achievements. I would plead to those observers considering a deeper involvement in the AFS to do so and trust that your efforts and contributions will be rewarded many times over. Finally, I would like to both thank and encourage the AFS for its unwavering devotion industry and the upkeep of a proud historical standard. Thank you. I'm deeply honored and humbled to be accepting the AFS Award for Scientific Merit for the year 2020. I was looking forward to go to Cleveland last year, but who thought, who would have thought uh, the world coronavirus epidemic would cancel the AFS Metal Casting Congress last year and convert this year's conference into a virtual one. But even though I received the award a year late, it is an award I will always treasure. I recently looked at the list of past recipients and indeed it is an impressive group. It gave me a chance to pause and look at my own accomplishments compared to theirs. And it turns out that I've spent 20 years studying cast iron and understanding how to make good iron castings. To me, it still feels like yesterday that I started in this industry. 
and sometimes I still feel I understand very little. What has kept me busy and interested in cast iron has been all the great people that I work with and still work with, and the interesting challenges that they share with me. I could not have accomplished this without them. I've been extremely lucky to have this as my job uh, since it enables me to be curious and to learn through trial and error. And that makes it even more humbling to receive this award. I'm also fortunate to work for a company which supports and encourages research that benefits the foundry industry and has given me the opportunity to dedicate time and efforts as I pursue this research. My family also deserves a special thank you. They always encouraged my research and technical support activities and made it possible for me to work and travel as needed. I'm deeply indebted to them for their support. Thank you. I hope you have a great time at this 125th Metal Casting Conference, the first virtual one, and look forward to discussing cast iron with you and continue learning from you during those discussions. Thank you all. Uh, greetings, uh, this is Dior Anapelian. I'm honored and humbled uh, by this award. AFS is uh, dear to my heart. I've uh, cut my teeth as a young professional and a lot of my colleagues and friends are within the AFS organization. But I have to tell you, I feel like a uh, frog at the top of the flagpole asking himself uh, or herself or it, how did I get here? That's how I feel. But I know how I got here. Uh, I got here because of colleagues like yourselves, uh, my past students, my present students, uh, the members of the ACRC consortium, our industry colleagues and friends and partners in crime, if you will, uh, where we, over the last 30 years, we've built a learning organization where we're all learning from each other and truly advancing the frontiers of our industry. So I'm uh, uh, terribly uh, moved and humbled, as I said, and honored. And I wanna thank AFS for this uh, award, which will mean a lot to me, means a lot to me and will mean a lot to me in the future as well. Thank you for, uh, for uh, the committee and uh, thank you all. Appreciate it. I am honored and very humbled to receive this award and to be associated with the folks who have received it in the past. I would like to thank AFS, the Institute, and my friends and colleagues in Division Three who nominated, nominated me for this award. I would also like to thank the folks at Neptune Net Technology Group, I Schumann, and Lee Brass for giving me the desire and drive to enjoy this career for almost 30 years. If you are just starting out or even a seasoned pro, get involved. Whether it is on the local chapter level or the national level in a technical division, get involved and learn and grow. Thank you again very much. Hello. Thank you, Doug. I'm greatly honored to receive this prestigious John A. Pendon Cole Medal from the American Foundry Society. I thank the AFS Copper Division for nominating me and AFS Selection Board for selecting me for this award. I thank my employer, Canvet Materials, part of Natural Resources Canada, supporting my research since 1996 and also allowing me to work with AFS Copper Division, as well as participate in many events and research projects. Assistance from my colleagues, researchers, and technologists is greatly appreciated. I enjoyed my work with AFS Copper Division and its members. They have provided me unstinted support for the last two, de two decades and their foundry problems and future requirements become the ideas for my many research projects. My special thanks are also to the AFS staff at the headquarters for their 
assistance and help at many occasions. I had many mentors along the way in my career. I want to extend my thanks to my teachers in school and university in India. The special thanks are to Dr. Seshan, who is my thesis supervisor in India, and Dr. Mahi Sahu at Canmet for their help during research as well as advice. I was fortunate to have supporting parents who allowed me to pursue my passion in research. And my special thanks are to my siblings who encouraged me immensely. Lastly, but not the least, I thank my loving wife, Sivagami, and my two daughters, Priya and Kamala, who understandingly allowed me to spend many days, even weekends, in the field working with foundries and American Foundry Society. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this is Russ Rosemade from Pittsburgh State University. And I just wanna thank everyone for the award from the AFS of the service citation. And uh, I was reading in Modern Casting uh, that was actually published the other day that it was for 40 years of service. I can't believe um, that it's been that long, but uh, 40 years is a long time to be part of this industry. And I'm glad I was able to contribute and help AFS to achieve its goals over those time and uh, to help place into the industry a large number of students that are helping the industry to become successful. Uh, I'd like to thank um, my people who got me interested in this from college professors to, uh, uh, to family and also uh, all my students uh, who have all graduated from Pittsburgh State who helped to uh, write letters to um, the the committee for, for the selection of the uh, the award of surface citation. And uh, it's quite an honor to be included in those past recipients. I have uh, looked at those names and always uh, looked at them in awe some day that maybe I might be able to get that. Is, and sure enough, here, here it is. And uh, I'm really grateful to the entire committee for their selection and the entire industry for letting me be part of it. And I hope to continue this for a few more years and help uh, attract the next generation of metal casters to the metal casting industry. So again, thank you very much. And uh, we look forward to seeing you around the industry. Scientific Merit Award. Here it is. This is probably the most handsome award I've ever received. Bifilm technology has the power to change all of our foundries, all for the better. So when I go into a foundry these days, I find I'm using running and gating systems which are totally new and like nothing you've seen before. They work like a dream. They do work. Now, many of you know a friend of mine who got 75% for the elongation of his steel castings and routinely these days gets 20% elongation for his aluminum castings. But I say to him, why only 20% for aluminum? Why not 40? Why not a hundred? You see, the control of bifilms represents a great future for our ferrous and our non-ferrous foundries. We ain't seen nothing yet. So chaps, whether we like it or not, bifilms are not going to go away. But these are new ideas. They're new concepts. They are here to help. Thank you. Good day. Uh, thank you for this prestigious award, the AFS Service Citation um, of 2020. 
this award comes to me certainly as a surprise. It's uh, uh, a joy uh, in which I serve, but it's also ironical. But because uh, any service and any modicum of service I could provide to the EFS, it has come back to us several fold uh, with EFS's technical service and support to my students, my colleagues, and I at Western Michigan University. And it's because of this, I look forward to continue service with AFS over the coming years. Thank you.